Get ready for the smackdown. Get ready for the smackdown. How you gonna react when you're put in the back Cause there's no turning back when you're facing the smackdown. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, first fight um, with Adam Strange versus the Star Lord. Um, once again, Blue Knight seven two eight. This one's from another rookie, uh, D Dot Holler One, um, and he pits very interesting fight. And you'll see, Bill Gax from Ben Ten versus Tony Stark, Iron Man. Yeah, Vilgats versus Iron Man. A very interesting fight. Um, I don't mind people giving me uh, characters from the Ben 10 universe. Uh, so we'll kick it off with Vilgax. Vilgax, of course, was pretty much the quintessential main antagonist, main arch enemy of Ben 10. Um, his, his, his hatred of the Tennyson family goes back to Ben's grandfather, actually. When he first appeared in the series... He was this very big, <laughs> imposing looking force that pretty much uh, Dwayne McDuffie pretty much designed pretty much really well. Uh, uh, he he was the over a warlord. Uh, I'm forgetting the name of his race. Shimera Sit Sakchi uh, Genchi. I forgot the name of it. But um, he was very imposing, uh, very arrogant, brash. He wanted the uh, the uh, Omnitrix for himself so he can rule, you know, take over the galaxy and things like that. Uh, later on in the other series, he started to gain different powers and everything like that. But he pretty much stayed his same old arrogant overlord self, but still uh, very imposing. But pretty much over time, you know, Ben would always find a way in, in defeating him. Uh, even when he would change his forms, like he would go from this to being uh, like a giant squid-like looking character, Pre pretty much what his race is, but Bill's axe is cool, no matter what. So uh, let's move on to his combatant, and everybody should know this guy right here. Yes, the Armored Avenger himself, founding member of the Avengers, Mr. Tony Anthony Stark. Uh... We all know the story of uh, Iron Man, uh, billionaire playboy philanthropist, <laughs> genius. He, he's probably one of the he's, he's one of the smartest individuals in the Marvel universe, um, and his suit always goes through different upgrades and technology for good reason. Thank you. Uh, but. Um, for wondering, his current suit now, the Bleeding Edge armor, is pretty much, as I like to say, bio-engineered. It's, it's pretty much more bio-engineered than just technology, like he just puts on a suit of armor now. Uh, of course, you know, he's got the repulsor rays, the unibeams, this, you know, the, the guiding missiles. He's got now, he's able to use a uh, unisword now, like he can change, use his repulsor sword. He can make his repulsor beam into like a blade and things like that uh the armor gives him superhuman strength pretty much makes him nearly invulnerable um and it's, it's just that genius that you gotta get through tony could be a little arrogant as well too uh, let's not get let's not get that out of there uh people yeah he could be a little arrogant at best uh, yeah he, he, yeah he, he doesn't hide it but uh when the tough gets going, yeah, he, you, you, you would definitely want somebody like him on your side, no, no doubt about it. Um, you want brains and brawn, and Tony brings that. So, uh, in terms of a battle between these individuals, this would be interesting because, let's put it like this: in a first encounter, Vilgax would not look at Tony as an imposing threat. You know, he would probably say, "Ah, uh, a man in armor." You think he can? You can stand against me, the mighty Vilgax. And you know, Tony will probably crack, crack some wisecrack like, "Wow, a squid," you know, something like that. 
Um, until like Tony's, you know, gives Vilgax a, a pretty, a, maybe a a mighty right hook or something, and Vilgax is like, whoa. Uh, but yeah, it, it it's gonna take some time, but I think Tony can get on Vilgax's nerves, and that'll play to Tony's advantage basically, because Vilgax he gets arrogant and brash, and he's he's easily angered. But he is a seasoned warrior. Don't get, don't let, don't knock that. But his arrogance will get the best of him. And let's put it like this, guys: If Vilgax loses to a bunch of teenagers, in a way, you know what? What do you think he'll lose to a man in armor? So I leave it up to you: Vilgax or Iron Man. And once again, um, this is uh, was from uh, D dot Hala number one. And no disrespect to Vilgax, but I'm just I'm calling it like I see it. I'm keeping it real. Uh, but other than that, you guys know the slogan. Uh, this is Mom Vernon Kid saying peace, one love. Stay tuned, keep it real, guys. I will see you Saturday with the next two fights. And you know, and once again, you guys know the slogan: battle on.